invading army is on the march right now, and the fallout could include your yard, and things could get ugly. Jason Allen live in Fort Worth tonight, where a worm of all things is overrunning parts of North Texas tonight. Jason? And Doug, they carry that name Army Worm for a reason because they can come almost out of nowhere. They can damage or destroy really anything that they are after. And this year, these little guys, they are claiming a large part of North Texas is their territory. If you look outside right now and your lawn looks like it's moving, look closer. It might not be the wind. They were not here one day, they were here the next. Rebecca Moravitz woke up in Keller this week up. to find worms on blades all of grass here, on the walls of her barn, filling the pool filter basket. It was an army. Yeah, we're already losing our grass. I mean, this it's never been this depleted. I have never seen anything like it. It's the first for me. Pest control company owner Rob Higdon said every call he's had this week has been for army worms. The small, dark colored worms are here every year, but not in numbers like this. Entomology experts said late summer rains may be to blame, but they can't be sure. They eventually become brown moths, but in the larval stage, for a couple of weeks, they are destructive. But they've been going up on the, uh, in the driveway, up on the patio, up on the porch, up people's legs. <laughs> so. Higdon is spraying to control them around homes. Most store insecticides will help knock them down, experts said. And lawns, where most of the damage is often done, will usually grow back. The worms can devastate farm fields, though, and right now show no signs of slowing down. Everywhere around here, it's army worm, army worm, army worm. So here they are one more time, and they are trying to get after it. Uh, experts told us if you look at your lawn and it's kind of brown and torn up, like you ran the lawnmower too low over it, that could be a sign that they're there even if you don't see them. And they could stick around until we get one of those first good cold snaps. We're live in Fort Worth tonight. Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.